Wonderful good day ladies and gentlemen to the exploration news on Commodity TV. The last financial crisis in 2008-2009 is increasingly hitting us with full force now. Exploration spending was brutally cut back and had been more or less stopped for years. Saving was the order of the day and for the last 36 months since Corona, we have again been in a similar vicious circle. The non-increased commodity prices, especially the incentive prices to develop projects at all, are going higher and higher as environmental regulations, permitting procedures, labor costs and material costs for new mines have increased sharply. One example is the average global production cost for an ounce of gold, which is now $1,360 per ounce. The situation is similar in copper and other metals. This is why successful exploration is so important for the future supply of raw materials to the world and the associated mine development. It is all the more pleasing that our companies continue to shine here. Heliostar drilled nearly 32 grams gold per ton over 9.5 meters with within a 72 meters intercept of 8 grams gold per ton at Annapola. Another drill hole hit 5 grams gold per ton over 52 meters and another hole hit 11 meters with almost 16 grams gold per ton. Very nice. The most important hole AP23300 showed a 480% increase over the current resource model prediction at a cutoff grade of more than 5 grams gold per ton. Well done! Fury Gold Mines announced results from the first three 2023 core holes at its high-grade Eau Claire Gold project in Quebec. The 2023 drill program to date has focused on the continued expansion of the hinge target located immediately west of the Eau Claire deposit with the objective of updating the Eau Claire end-of-season mirror resource estimate. Drilling at the hinge target continued to return multiple stacked zones of gold mineralization in each hole, including 5 meters at 3.6 grams gold per ton within a broader intercept of 14 meters at almost 2.4 grams gold per ton. Other drill intercepts included 6.5 meters at almost 2.7 grams gold, 6 meters at 2.8 grams gold per ton, and 1 meter at over 10 grams gold per ton. Two drill holes have extended the gold mineralization at the hinge target, 50 meters up dip and 75 meters to the west, respectively. These initial results provide confidence in the model subvertical geometry of the beans at the hinge target as the company works towards a meaningful update of the currently defined resource at Eau Claire, which was last estimated in 2018 at 853,000 ounces gold at an average grade of 6.18 grams gold per ton in the measured and indicated category and 500,000 ounces gold at 6.35 grams gold per ton in the inferred category. I wouldn't be astonished if this goes maybe up to 2 million ounces altogether. We are positive and look forward to more good results. Not only drill results, but also infrastructure requirements are important in mining. All the better if politics takes care of that. US gold mining recently had a visit from Alaska State Governor Mike Dunleavy at their Whistler Gold Copper Project. This is primarily about the state of Alaska's Roads to Resources Initiative, which includes the proposed West Susitna Access Road to WSAR to the Whistler Project. Governor Dunleavy's visit to Whistler was part of an overview tour of the WSAR at a proposed approximately 100-mile road corridor that would connect Whistler to existing highway, rail, power and port infrastructure, as well as a large-scale workforce in the three cities of Anchorage, Palmer and Wasilla. On 27th July 2023, the Department of Transportation announced plans to include the first 15 miles of the WSAR, including a major bridge over the Susitna River, in the draft 2024-2027 Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, with funding to begin construction in 2025 subject to approval. Following the announcement, the Alaska Industrial Development and Export Authority AIDEA reported on 28 July that it will continue work on a separate and additional portion of the WSAR beyond the planned road construction to provide an industrial access corridor to several exploration and development projects in the West Susitna mining district, including the company's Whistler project. Fantastic. These are the very things that are missing here in Europe. Politics and industry pulling together with communities and people. Jobs, the environment and progress go hand in hand. Great, that's how it works, folks. You do it right. You can also find all information on our Commodity TV app as well as everything about commodities. Please note the following 
disclaimer. We appreciate a like, of course, and even better, more importantly, when you subscribe to our TV channel. Thanks for that. The stocks discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and Servus from Austria.